Hi, I'm Dave Field. In this presentation, I'm going to tell you how I discovered powerful strategies that unravel the mysteries of building a professional CNC router and how it can be done easily and inexpensively. You may be asking yourself what this crumpled up business plan has to do with building a better CNC router or how this Russian soldier is going to help you make it simply and inexpensively. All this will make perfect sense in a matter of minutes and once it all clicks, you'll know the secrets to building your own professional quality CNC router. Also, you'll learn exactly how to do it simply, quickly and inexpensively. In this presentation, you'll discover the simple steps to follow to make your CNC router perform flawlessly. How to make it super rigid so it can easily cut aluminum without vibrating, flexing or chattering. How to choose the best materials, parts and components without spending tons of money. How you can avoid using expensive tools like milling machines and lathes. And why it's better to build your own CNC rather than buying cheap pre-built machines or kits. So take a step forward to turning that CNC router you've always been wanting into reality. In addition to all the useful information in this presentation, there's also a really helpful offer coming up, so keep watching. I'll also be showing you how you can build your super rigid CNC router without wasting months researching, designing and test building your machine over and over. So who am I? For one, I wasn't always an expert in CNC router design. I was kind of pushed into it by circumstances. I'll tell you how it all started. A few years ago, I'd approached my friend Howard about investing in a product I designed. He really liked it and agreed to finance our venture. And I would be responsible for the design, setup, and prototype production. To get started, Howard first asked me to make a few aluminum parts for one of his clients. To make the parts, all I needed was a three-axis desktop CNC router. And it needed to mill aluminum plate, so it needed to be quite rigid. I first looked at buying a machine outright, but I didn't have the cash to buy a rigid enough machine. And the kits I found were really junky for the money. So I priced sending the job out to a machine shop. Their quotes were really high and the lead times were long for such a small job. And anyway, I needed to have a good CNC router in my shop. All I needed was a small tabletop CNC router. So it made good sense for me to build my own CNC router in-house. It seemed simple enough. I started to research CNC machine designs and I found a huge amount of conflicting information and opinions from the so-called CNC experts out there. I quickly realized I was going to have to blindly accept what they were telling me and just start building or I was going to run out of time. It took me about four weeks to complete my drawings and all the detailed parts lists much longer than I'd planned. Finally, I was able to order all the expensive expert recommended parts I can afford and started my build. I battled to assemble the main frame I designed. My design was overcomplicated, so it took a lot of fiddling and back and forth to get it together so it was even close to straight and level. Then, too late, I discovered those expensive components I bought needed to be mounted really, really accurately too. The mounting surfaces needed to be machined completely flat, which I of course couldn't do and I didn't have all the machine tools that I needed. So I ended up buying a bunch of extra tools to try to get those surfaces flat. But I never really succeeded. And eventually, I had to make do with what I had. Finally, after a lot of struggling, I managed to install all the main components. Things were coming along quite nicely until I started wiring up the electronic components like the motors and the control boards. I struggled to find a reliable wiring diagram anywhere. I looked everywhere, but no two diagrams I found matched, and none of them were complete. I ended up having to design my own one, and it turned into a real nightmare. And now, doubts about my abilities naturally started creeping in. Long story short, after a lot of long hours and weeks spent in my shop away from my family, I eventually got lucky and got the machine moving and making chips. To this day, I'm not sure how I did it. So, 
miraculously, after the super stressful build, I started to cut my first batch of aluminium parts for Howard. But I quickly realized, to my horror, that my expensive machine wasn't performing like I expected. When I took the first parts of the machine, I realized just how bad things were. That beautiful machine I'd bet my business future on was flexing and chattering and vibrating horribly when it cut aluminium. This definitely wasn't what I had in mind when I decided to build my own CNC router. So I tried different feeds and speeds, but no matter what I did, the machine just wasn't rigid enough. And the worst part was realizing that there was no simple fix. Because of the bad advice I'd followed and the incredibly complicated way I'd designed and built it, I'd have to start all over again if I wanted to fix it. Time was running out for me and I was desperate to salvage my deal with Howard. It had taken a lot of time and effort to get to this point. But now I knew I was in real trouble. So with my back to the wall, I did the only thing I could do. I crossed my fingers and sent the whole job out to a machine shop. An expensive week later, they shipped the finished parts directly to Howard's client. Not exactly ideal, but at least I'd managed to cover my butt. Things were looking up again. So I thought. Next day, Howard calls me, and my heart just sinks when I hear the tone of his voice. Turns out, the machine shop had really screwed up. All the tolerances were way off. Most of the parts didn't even fit. Howard was pissed and he ended up backing out of our deal. And I can't really blame him. I dropped the ball and to him our deal had started to look really, really risky. I'd really screwed it all up. In anger that evening, I crumpled up my business plan and threw it in the trash. My reputation was in shreds and I destroyed a good friendship and a promising business relationship. And all I had to show for all the effort and the spent money was a useless piece of scrap metal in the corner of my shop. Wasting all that money was bad, but worst of all was, I'd now started to seriously doubt my abilities, and my confidence was taking a hit. That night, I just locked up my shop and walked away. I needed to clear my head. I was really angry at myself. So I took that crumpled up business plan out of the trash and swore I'd always keep it on my desk as a reminder so that I'll never repeat the same stupid mistake again. To this day, it sits in an acrylic box on my desk as a reminder of how not to do things. That was then. Things are different today, but back then I had a long way to go to find a real solution. If I was going to live with myself, I only had one way out. I had to solve this whole CNC design problem that got me into the mess in the first place. So I began researching all the machine tools I could find and studied how they were designed and what made them successful. I looked at a bunch of simple and practical old machines. I looked everywhere, even at how World War II fighter planes and weapons were put together. I researched anything I thought would help clear the fog from all the so-called expert opinions I digested. I'd searched for how mechanical designers did it in the time when resources, tooling and labor were really scarce, like during the Second World War. Those were times when people really seemed to excel under the most difficult of conditions. Then one day, I stumbled on the perfect strategy. I read about an old Russian weapons designer. His name is Mikhail Kalashnikov. Many of you will know him. During World War II, he's the guy who designed the infamous AK-47, which still is the simplest to build, most manufactured automatic weapon produced. His design was revolutionary. It had to be super simple to manufacture using unskilled workers and outdated machines that were available to him. Kalashnikov achieved his iconic design by ignoring all the wisdom of the weapons design experts of his day. He saw a problem and solved it without being swayed by what doubters around him thought. It suddenly all clicked to me and I knew I'd found a way, an approach which would help solve my CNC problem. 
And so I was inspired to develop the Kel Strategy. The name Kel Strategy is a tribute, of course, to what Mikhail Kalashnikov achieved. There's also much more coming up in this presentation to help you with your CNC build, so keep on watching. The Kel Strategy is a set of simple guiding principles to follow when designing a CNC machine tool. The results have been phenomenal because the Kel Strategy simplifies the approach to the CNC design and build process a lot. It gives you a clear path to follow. As you can see, I never started out wanting to be an expert at CNC design. I just wanted to build my own CNC router like many of you people out there and make things. But I realized that by following bad advice, I had stupidly thrown away a really good business opportunity. And nothing was going to change for me until I worked out a foolproof, reliable way, a guide that would prevent it all happening again. You and I have a lot in common as makers and designers. We all face similar day-to-day -day problems. That is, we just want to get on with producing the things we've designed. The only difference is that I have a way, a simple solution to the CNC design build problem that's insurmountable to so many of us. And that's exactly the reason why you're watching this presentation now. But first, you're going to need to understand what the real problem with DIY CNCs is. Building your own reliable CNC router doesn't need to be difficult, but it's easy to lose direction. When I started, I had no idea that it could so easily spin out of control and be so difficult to get right. I didn't understand why there were so many badly performing DIY CNC machines existing out there. But now I do. Just look at all the failed machines and horror stories on YouTube and the rest of the internet and you'll know what I mean. You're going to be surprised because the problem is not what you think it is. And I need to make it clear, it's not because you don't have the right building skills. You don't have to be an engineer or a professional machinist to get it done right. The real problem is that we left the tracks. Let me explain. Back in the 1950s, our factories were changing over from mass producing weapons for World War II into making consumer goods. The war years were exceptional times. We needed to be really enterprising and efficient just to survive. There was no time to make things overcomplicated and pretty because lives depended on doing things quickly, simply, and effectively. But somehow, along the way, we started to believe that we couldn't get it done by ourselves. We started to believe all the marketing hype that told us that anything of quality had to be designed by engineers and made in a factory on a production line. All the information you needed to build a quality CNC on a budget is nowhere to be found. It's not your fault, and here's the reason why. There are just no in-depth, simple-to-follow, step-by-step guides available that cut through all the BS and the smoke and mirrors. Everybody's trying to sell you overkill, expensive CNC components that you don't really need. They won't tell you that less expensive parts can perform equally well when used correctly. The real trick is to know how to use them properly. So many builders spend a fortune thinking that expensive parts are the answer, and they end up with massively overspec, complicated, and difficult to build CNC machines. No one's been showing you an easy way through all that complicated fog. There's really no reliable advice about what the best CNC machine configurations are and why, what the most economical way is to build a rigid CNC frame, and most importantly, how to simplify the whole CNC building process. And don't get me started on all those vendors pushing those overpriced and really badly designed CNC router kits. They're toys, they're not usable as serious machine tools because the frames flex and they have too much play in the drive components. So it's all intentionally been left murky and that's why if you're not a big corporation, you don't have access to that information. But there's a much better way. So continue watching. Because I'll show you how you can cut weeks and months out of your CNC build. And how you can avoid that time sponge of having to endlessly design, prototype, test and retest your CNC router. 
Applying the principles of the Cal strategy will help you keep the CNC build simple, economic, and rigid. But even with it, it takes a lot of time and commitment. But if you're super confident of your skills and prepared to put in the hard work, then the Cal strategy can get you on the right track. You'll still need to put in all the time to research and draw up your design, including each part carefully, and decide on the best way to put it all together. You can design your own CNC router in this way, but there's still unknowns and a lot of trial and error. And if you're like me, you want to be focusing on creating and building. Makers like us don't want to become professional CNC designers and builders. We just can't afford to spend months agonizing over the perfect way to build a CNC router. Now, there's a way around all that, a much simpler way. You can now cut out all those long hours of researching, designing, and drawing up your CNC router, and still get professional results. Because I've put it all together for you in one comprehensive package. You can now skip all the trial and error and uncertainty of the CNC design process and start building your CNC router right after this video ends. Because now there's a professional quality CNC router design complete with all the plans and drawings. There's no need now for you to waste your time duplicating all my efforts and reinventing the wheel. Now it's a sure thing because I've already done all the research, design, technical drawings and testing for you. Introducing the Cal1 CNC package. Everything I've learned on my long CNC journey has culminated in this easy to build professional CNC router design. All the plans and information you'll need to build your own professional quality CNC router are included in the Cal1 CNC package. And here's why the Cal1 CNC router is so unique. It's designed to be super rigid and heavy duty, specifically to cut hard materials like aluminum and brass. It's designed to be inexpensive to build compared to what's available on the market. It incorporates all the economic design principles developed in the Cal strategy. It achieves incredible professional results using inexpensive materials and easily available and low cost mechanical components. It comes as a complete package with plans and in-depth step-by-step -step instructions. It's complete with all the technical information, drawings and instructions you'll need to start building your own CNC router. It's designed to be incredibly simple to build. You can easily build the Cal1 CNC with common tools that are found in most home workshops. No exotic and expensive machine tools like milling machines or lathes are needed. Plus, it's designed to look super professional. It doesn't look home built the Cal1 requires only basic DIY skills to build. Even if you've never built anything like it, the Cal1 CNC package takes all that into account. The Cal1 CNC package explains the whole build process with simple to understand drawings and step-by-step -step 3D illustrations. With the easy to follow instructions, you'll be able to build your Cal1 CNC at your own comfortable pace. But don't get me wrong, the Cal1 is a serious machine tool meant for serious builders and it'll take dedication and commitment to build. It's been designed for builders and makers who need a professional quality, super rigid CNC router with superior performance. It isn't one of those understructure thrown together CNC kits. It's a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide to building a heavy duty CNC router based on the Cal strategy. So, is the Cal1 CNC package right for you? If you're looking for an easy bolt together hobby CNC router to engrave plywood pictures of your cat, then Cal1 CNC package is definitely not for you. If that's what you're looking for, close your browser now because the Cal1 CNC package isn't right for you. So who is the Cal1 CNC package meant for? It's for those of you who are ready to stop looking for that easy miracle in a box silver bullet solution. It's for those who are ready to put in the real work that's needed to build your own super rigid professional CNC router. It's for those makers who are looking for a serious CNC machine to take their maker skills up a notch. There are no shortcuts to getting professional quality in a CNC router. 
There are just no easy push button solutions. But if you're looking for a pro quality CNC to serve you well in your shop and you're prepared to put in the solid work needed to make it happen, then the Cal1 CNC package is as easy as it gets. Here's what you'll be getting with your Cal1 CNC package. You get the 126 page ebook with nine in-depth chapters covering the complete Cal1 CNC build from start to finish. It's in easy to read PDF format, so you can read it on your computer, tablet or phone anytime or print out the drawings whenever you need to. The ebook contains all the easy to follow drawings, instructions and files you'll need to quickly and successfully complete your Cal1 CNC build. Here's what's inside. Chapter 1. The Design Build Approach. Here we go over all the design choices we made when designing the Cal1 CNC. We go into detail about the different CNC frame configurations. We also explain the different linear motion and drive systems. And we explain the CNC control box and the CNC control software you'll be using. Chapter 2, the machine view drawings. It has all the assembled machine views in one place, so you'll have a detailed graphic reference when you build your Cal1 CNC. Chapter 3, the fabrication drawings. In this chapter, we provide all the detailed 2D and 3D drawings you'll need to fabricate each and every one of the parts for your CNC machine. Every dimension, hole and weld is clearly called out in inches and in millimeters on each of the drawings, together with full, easy to follow notes and instructions. Chapter 4, the assembly drawings. This chapter guides you step by step through the 28 simple assembly stages from start to finish. We show you exactly how to assemble the Cal1 in stages, showing you how each component is installed with easy to follow 3D exploded views and detailed instructions. You'll be taken through the assemblies process in 28 easy to follow step by step stages. Chapter 5 and 6, the frame assembly drawings. You'll need these chapters when building the machine frame. They contain all the drawings to accurately assemble your CNC steel frame. There's one chapter for each of the two frame options, depending which one you decide to choose. Chapter 7 to 9, here we take you through the final build stages of your CNC router. In these chapters, we cover the CNC control box layout and how to route all the controls and signal wiring in detail. Plus, you also get the structural analysis study showing how well the steel frame will perform under the design cutting loads. And you also get the electronic DXF files of all the CNC mounting plates so you can print full-size cutting and drilling templates or if you want cut them on a friend's CNC router and for that professional final touch we include the digital graphics files for the official Cal1 logo. So you can see with a Cal1 CNC package you get everything you need to start building your Cal1 CNC router. And you can start just minutes after you purchase the download package. And the best part of the Cal1 CNC package is how quickly it is to get started. No design and testing needed. And that the Cal1 CNC router is really simple to build. No machining or anything like that. Right now, you're probably curious how much the Cal1 CNC package is. You may be thinking, that this package could cost you over $500. Well, the good news is that's not the case. I'm going to reveal that to you in just a few moments. But first, consider this. When you buy the Cal1 CNC package today, you'll be avoiding all those weeks and months of wasted time researching, drawing up, and testing your own CNC design, wondering if it'll work as you expected. With the package, you'll be able to get started on your CNC build without any delays. There will be absolutely no unknowns and the path ahead for your CNC build will be clearly mapped out with no curveballs or surprises because all engineering heavy lifting has already been done for you. You'll be able to proceed through your CNC build with complete confidence. So if you need a rigid CNC router that performs professionally, that easily cuts through aluminum and you need to build it on a limited budget, and you want complete step-by-step -step drawings and instructions in a completely professionally designed package, then the Cal1 CNC package is right for you. 
When I first started putting together this package, I was thinking that a fair retail price is $297. But I've changed my mind now, and I'll tell you about it in just a moment. But first, at some point, you're going to discover that to complete your CNC router build, you're going to need to have an accurate and complete bill of materials, or BOM, as it's known. In the BOM, you will need to compile a complete list of all the parts with quantities. There's really no way around it, because you'll be completely lost without one. Now, the good news is that you won't have to do all that work. That's because I'll be giving you, as a free bonus, the complete detailed BOM we've put together for the Cal one The BOM lists all the materials, parts, and components you'll need with the quantities, purchase length, and pricing. You'll be able to order the products online by simply clicking or pasting the part number into your browser. The Cal one BOM is really valuable and is worth at least $50. It'll end up saving you days and days of work. Including the bomb as a bonus brings the total value of the Cal1 CNC package to $347. Of course, you could just follow the Cal Strategy CNC cheat sheet and put together your own design. And it's possible you could come up with a working CNC machine design. I know some of you have the experience to do it but it'll still take you many long nights and weeks to finalize the design and finish all the drawings. And you'll still need to prototype and test your design and make sure it works as you intended. You could very easily end up designing, redesigning, and building your CNC over and over and not get to use it to be productive for a very long time. And that's not what I want for you because as I told you earlier, I've already been there. So I have a goal. I've decided to get the Cal1 design out there into the maker community. The only way I'm going to be able to make this happen is to make the Cal1 CNC package more affordable and accessible. And that's why I'm discounting the price. That's why the Cal1 CNC package is not going to cost you $347. It's not going to cost you $247. It sells for a low $194. But now, as a special for this launch, we're giving you an extra 50% off. So, for just the next seven days, you pay a low $97. And then the price will go back up. So, act now to take advantage of this limited time offer. In just a couple of minutes, you can have the full Cal1 CNC package plus bonuses. So, look below this video now and click the buy button and get your Cal1 CNC package today and start building your CNC right away. I'm so confident that the Cal1 CNC package is going to work for you that I'm going to also give you a triple money-back guarantee. For whatever reason, even if your neighbor's dog barks too loud, or your morning coffee gets cold, or you simply changed your mind about building a CNC, any reason whatsoever, I'll give you 100% of your money back because I want you to be totally satisfied with what you're getting today. So look below the video now and click the buy button and get the Cal1 CNC package today. Now, if all of that hasn't got you so excited that you click the buy button, I was going to tell you about the next bonus on the landing page. But guess what? I'm going to tell you what it is right now. When you purchase the package, I'm going to include the complete Cal1 CNC wiring diagram free as a bonus. This is the fully detailed, color-coded electrical wiring diagram showing you exactly how to wire up every part of the Cal1 CNC. The wiring diagram explains exactly how to wire the limit switches, the stepper motors, the spindle control, and all the internal wiring of the CNC control box. This is the computer control brain of the CNC router. And you won't find this wiring diagram anywhere, not on the internet or in any library. The Cal1 CNC wiring diagram took me weeks of design, trial and error, and testing to get right. It makes the wiring stage so straightforward that I could easily sell it for $50 as a standalone product. 
But instead, I'm including it in your package today as a completely free bonus. It'll eliminate all your wiring, guesswork, and testing headaches and allow you to speed through the final stages of getting your CNC machine cutting. With a complete Cal1 CNC package plus two bonuses, you'll be in easy reach of having your own super rigid pro quality CNC router. You'll be joining the thousands of makers and builders who are succeeding using CNC routers in their shops every day to produce incredible products and run their shops. They're producing many, many products like drones, robotic parts, electric guitars, auto and bike parts, signage, and thousands of other things. With your CNC router, you'll be able to easily go from rough concept sketches to accurately machined aluminum and brass parts in just minutes. So look below this video and click the buy button and get your Cal1 CNC package today. Moments after clicking the buy button, you'll be taken to the buy page. When you click on the buy button, here's what you're going to see. You're going to be taken to our secure checkout page. It's going to look like this. You'll know you're in the right place when you see the Cal1 CNC package image and title here. Notice our checkout is 100% secure. You'll see your 60 day money back guarantee in the order screen here. Just fill in your details and when you click the pay now button, you'll then be taken to the order confirmation screen and simply click the download link. And in just a couple of minutes, you'll have downloaded the full Cal1 CNC package plus bonuses. In the table of contents of your ebook, you'll also find the link to download your Cal Digital Files package with all the extras. So remember this, without a complete detailed set of plans with full assembly instructions, your CNC router build can take many extra weeks or months to design, draw up and test. And that doesn't include you finding the list of all the parts, components and quantities you'll need, or the suppliers. And then you'll have to research, test and design a working wiring diagram. You could spend hours just staring at a blank piece of paper, wondering where to start. Imagine removing all the pressure, stresses and unknowns from your CNC build. Imagine sitting in a workshop with a complete set of building drawings, assembly instructions, part lists and wiring diagrams, and you start building knowing exactly what to expect. And you're finishing your Cal1 CNC router by following the illustrated step-by-step -step instructions. And you're able to wire up your machine confidently, knowing it's all been completely worked out for you. And there's no need to test endlessly and second-guess yourself. So remember, it's not your fault that there hasn't been a clear pathway available to building your own CNC router. But now, you do have a simple-to-follow, complete and low-cost path to getting that professional quality CNC router that you've always wanted. It's your responsibility to make the most of your talents. And with a Cal1 CNC package, that responsibility is as ironclad as you could possibly hope for. Your success in building your own CNC router is now easier because you'll have this simple and comprehensive build package we've put together. Remember, that there are many successful makers who build their own CNC routers and make money every day using them. I started in exactly the same place that you are now. That is, not knowing exactly where to start and not knowing exactly how it will end up. So when you finish downloading your Cal1 CNC package plus bonuses today, I want you to start by reading chapter one to familiarize yourself with the overall design concepts behind the Cal1 and the different build stages. Then read about the two different frame options and decide which would work best for you. Take a look through the parts drawings to get an idea what you'll be making. You'll see they're all very simple pieces to make. Assemble the tools you'll need. You'll find a complete list in chapter one. Then the next day read through the Cal1 bomb and order the square steel tubing for the frame. While you build a frame, Order the rest of the components, which can ship while you start on the frame. So here's what you'll be receiving today. 
you'll get the complete Cal1 CNC package, which includes all the chapters we covered earlier. You get the detailed Cal1 bomb, listing all the materials, parts, fasteners, and electric parts you'll need. Plus, I've included a spreadsheet file of the bomb, so if you ever want to revise it, you can. You also get the full set of fabrication drawings, covering every single part needed for the Cal1 CNC. Plus, you get all the step-by-step -step assembly drawings with the easy-to-follow 3D exploded views and written instructions. And then there's the instructions on how to hide the wiring in the frame so you end up with a really professional-looking machine without a tangle of wires. And you'll get the detailed design and layout drawings for the CNC control box, the brain of the machine. We show you in detail how to lay out the power supplies, control boards, and how to manage the wiring so everything is stable and you avoid any electrical interference in the signal wiring. Plus, included as a bonus, is the complete Cal1 CNC wiring diagram. So there's no wiring guesswork at all. It shows you exactly how to wire and ground every electric and electronic component correctly and avoid any problematic ground loop problems. Also, you get the digital CAD files for all the mounting plates, so you can print out full-scale drilling templates, or even cut and drill those parts on the CNC router if you choose. The moment you download your Cal1 CNC package, all of this will be yours. So if you're watching this video and you haven't clicked on the buy button yet, then maybe you didn't hear the five reasons why you need to act now. Maybe you missed them, and that's okay. Let me go through them. One, you're going to need a reliable rigid CNC router if you're going to become a serious builder and maker. Without one, you won't be able to compete and develop the skills you need in the new economy. Two, the Cal1 CNC router is one of the best and most complete packages available. It enables you to build an incredibly rigid professional DIY CNC router. Three, the Cal1 CNC is professionally designed and is super easy and low cost to build and only requires simple tools. And four, your time is money and it makes complete sense to build from a design package that is complete and comes with all the parts, drawings and step-by-step -step instructions plus includes a detailed bomb and a wiring diagram. Five, you'll be able to finish your CNC build much quicker and you can start making parts sooner. You won't need to waste all that time designing, rebuilding and testing your own CNC designs. It's taken a lot of time and effort and expertise to put this package plus the bonuses together. And based on the value, it should be selling for at least $347. So look below this video now and click the buy button and get your Cal1 CNC package today. And moments from now, you'll be taken to the buy page. At this point, you have a few choices to make. First, you can keep on going on your own and maybe take six months or a year to finish your whole CNC router build. In fact, you may never get around to building a reliable working CNC machine. The second thing you can do is to follow the strategies I gave you in the Cal Strategy CNC cheat sheet. Yes, you can use that information to design and eventually build your own CNC router. You can download it anytime from the link in the text below the video. But remember, you'll still need to design and draw up every part and make sure it all works together properly in the end. And you'll still have to work out the best way to assemble it, how to align the components and be sure it's rigid enough to cut aluminum. And then you'll need to spend time choosing and finding parts and creating your own detailed bomb. And you'll need to work out the CNC control box layout and choose the power supplies and electronic control components. Then you'll need to design a working wiring diagram for the control box and work out how to connect it correctly to the CNC router. And you still won't be assured that your steel frame is rigid enough unless you simulate the engineering on a computer. So it's that smart of a decision. You can go it alone and it's possible you can come up with a working CNC design in a few months. 
it's entirely possible that you'll get it all working eventually. And I, I truly hope you do. Or you can do the only smart thing, the savvy thing, the sure thing, and choose to take advantage of my offer today. So look below this video now and click the buy button and get your Cal1 CNC package today and get started on your incredible CNC journey today. Thanks for watching this presentation. Hi, are you, are you still there? Are you still listening? You haven't taken action yet. If you're still watching me right now, there's only one reason. It's not price, because you know you can afford this. And it's not the quality of the package. We've shown you that it contains everything you'll need to build your Cal1 CNC router. It's probably that you have a few questions that I may have missed. So, I'm going to go through the most common questions we get and give you the answers right now. Question one. What if I don't like the product after I buy it? You'll have a full 100% money back, 60 day guarantee for any reason. No questions asked. This is absolutely no risk to you. What if the Cal1 CNC is too difficult for me to build? The Cal1 package takes into account all skill levels and has especially been designed to be forgiving and easy to build. You will just need basic tools and DIY skills. How long will the Cal1 CNC take for me to build? It all depends on the time you have to put into it. If you go at it full time and have all the parts and materials pre-ordered, it could be as short as a few days. You know, it might take longer. Will I have to buy a whole lot of specialty tools? The tools required are really basic, and there's a complete list in Chapter 1 of the package. What can I do with the machine? What can I build? Any number of things. You can make signage, drone parts, electric guitars, car parts, prototypes. You can even engrave and cut stone with the right cutting bits possibilities are endless. What equipment other than the Cal1 CNC router will I need? The CNC control software is run on a PC computer and only needs a really basic system. In addition, you will need a CAD CAM program to create your cutting tool paths. I like Autodesk Fusion 360, which is currently offered free to startups and hobbyists. Where can I buy all the parts and materials from? The Cal1 bomb, which is included in the package, has links 
for all of the items on Amazon and eBay and on other online suppliers. You can get up-to-date pricing for parts by clicking the links. Many of the components are available from more than one supplier, so they're quite easy to locate. What kind of software do I need to use to control the Cal1 CNC router? I recommend Linux CNC. It's downloadable free as a package with Linux OS, and that's all you'll need to run the CNC machine. Can I easily cut soft material like wood and plastic on the Cal1 CNC? The Cal1 CNC is specially designed to cut hard materials, but it can easily cut wood and plastic. There are bits and end mills designed for the different material types. You said that the Cal1 is a better option to other types of CNC routers. Yes, I've surveyed what's available in the market at the time of publication. Kit CNC of a similar size and capacity sell for up to three to four times what the Cal1 CNC costs to build. And factory built machines will cost upwards from three to five times. Everything points towards the Cal1 CNC package being your best available option. So look below this video now and click the buy button and get your Cal1 CNC package today and get started on your incredible CNC journey today. Thanks.